Over to Central Africa, Burundian authorities have heeded a call by East African leaders to postpone elections, a move that was hailed by both the opposition and res pre residents of Bujumbura after a more than a month of protests against President Pierre Nkurunziza's bid for a third term. With no sign of an end to the violence, the East African leaders held a summit in Tanzania calling for the postponement of the election for at least a month and a half. Nkurunziza's decision to run for a third term plunged the country into its worst crisis since the civil ethnic war that ended in 2005. A daily protest has escalated into violence. April 26, and activists say more than 30 people have been killed so far. Protesters say Nkurunziza's move violates the constitution, which sets a two-term limit. Now, for the latest on the situation in Burundi, VOS Edward Roima now joins us live via Skype phone from Bujumbura. How are you, Eddie? How are you, uh, Vincent? How is Washington today? Okay. Now, give us some clarification here. Uh, there is a parliamentary election coming up and a presidential election coming up. What has been postponed? Uh, as for now, uh, we had uh, from uh, the president's office uh, last night that uh, the elections, the local and parliamentary elections that were supposed to take place uh, this Friday, June 5, that have been postponed. There's no new date that has been uh, announced yet. Uh, the National Electoral Commission says that uh, it's going to be sending to the presidency uh, a new calendar of elections and then uh, it's from there that the president will issue a decree announcing the new dates of which uh, the elections will take place. But as of now there is a big dilemma. The National Electoral Commission, uh, which normally is comprised of five members, two of the members have fled the country, they resigned and fled the country and right now for them to take any decision, they need at least four out of the five members uh, to be present. So that's the dilemma right now uh, here in Bujumbura, Vincent. Yeah, uh, everybody knows that the big elephant in the room is actually the presidential election. What are people saying? Uh, when you talk to different people, uh, most of them uh, actually don't even uh, care about the postponement. And uh, when you talk to the opposition, they say they were they were uh, disappointed by the decision of uh, the heads of state of the East African community because they never addressed the, the, the elephant in the room, like you mentioned, which is uh, the third term. And that, that's the reason we've seen lots of protests here in Bujumbura. Today was actually the 40th day since this uh, protest began. So... The opposition has said saying that unless PN Kurunziza withdraws his candidacy, uh, they are not going to be able to participate in these elections. While uh, at the same time, the, yeah. the ruling party. Yeah, very quickly. Uh, so, it, it, does it mean the East African leaders have closed the chapter on negotiating at least uh, anything uh, as respects the presidential election? Uh, right now, we, we, we don't know. They gave uh, 45 days uh, for the government to, to chat out the way out as far as organizing the elections is concerned. Whether there's going to be uh, backroom negotiations to have President Nkurunziza withdraw his, uh, his, his candidacy, that's still unknown to us. But up to now, we are waiting mm -hmm. to see when are the new dates going to be announced and what... Uh, formality is going to be used to okay. announce the new dates because right now if, if the National Electoral Commission is net is not yet full if okay. the five members are not there it's going to be hard for them to come out with a new uh, date. Eddie thank you very much. VOS Edward Roymer reporting live via Skype phone from Burundi.